Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Holographs 2000 here. And in today's video, I have got five autographs through the mail TTMs. I've also got a uh, friend or a friendly care package to show you guys. And I'm just going to let you know that one of the uh, TTM returns answered one of my fun questions. And it's, it's a doozy. It is it is the best one so far, and so you gotta stick around to see who it's from and what he says. All right, our first return is from North Texas, Dallas, Texas. And we have got Pat Combs. He signed three of three in 10 days he had a career record of 17 and 17 with a 4.22 ERA. He played four years. He appeared in 56 games and he played from 89 to 92. And he played his entire career with the Philadelphia Phillies. Pat Combs. Um, like I said, he played in 56 games. I was there for one of his games. I couldn't tell you which one. But um, this isn't the one I was talking about at the beginning, but it says, this one does say, what are two things that you think are normal but become strange when you do them repeatedly? And he says, Scott, that's a weird question. <laughs> but I do remember going to a uh, Phillies game. They were playing the Giants. And I remember he was pitching that day because there was a couple of guys that were wearing hats and on top of their hats, were these big giant combs. And that's how I remember Pat Combs pitched that day. All right, our second return is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have got Floyd Bannister. He signed three of three in 24 days. He had a career record of 134 and 143 with a 4.06 ERA. He played 15 years. He appeared in 431 games. He played from 77 to 92. He played with Houston, Seattle, the White Sox, Royals, Angels, and Rangers. He was an All-Star in 1982. His best year was in 1983 when he went 16 and 10 with a 3.35 ERA. Lloyd Bannister. Alrighty, our third return comes to us from Columbia, South Carolina. And we have got Bill Landrum. And that card is smudged badly. He signed three of three in seven days. He had a career record of 18 and 15. With a 3.39 ERA, he played eight years. He appeared in 268 games. He played from 86 to 93. He played with Cincinnati, the Cubs, the Pirates, and the Expos. Um, his, in 1990, he went 7-3 and three with a 2.13 ERA and 13 saves. But his best year was in 1989 when he went 2-3. and three with a 1.67 ERA and 26 saves. And I have to say, it is kind of disappointing. That card looks like it got wet and it bled, but that was a pretty sweet card. And that blue ink would look really good on that card, but it is, it's bad because it's, it's going all the way up here. So that is, 
disappointing that card didn't turn out very good. All right, before we get to our last couple of returns, I'm going to show you a care package that I got from Mr. David Pugh. And he says, Scott, here are the final 14 FLIR 88 cards you needed for your set, plus all but one San Francisco of the stickers you needed. Glad I could help you complete the set. I also threw in some random Orioles cards for you just for fun and add balance and, and to balance out the package. Hope you enjoy them. Keep up the great videos and TTMs. Always enjoy watching them. Best wishes always. Big Dave in Vegas. All right. And I have not opened this. So let's see. Let's see what's inside this bad boy. All right. We have got... Two things of cards. All right, let's do the 88 Fleet first. Set cards and stickers. We have got Dave Henderson, Dwight Gooden, Ernest Riles, Bill Landrum, Alvin Davis, Ryan Sandberg, Mike Scott. Chuck Finley, Dave Anderson, Dion James, Mike Boddicker, Terry Kennedy, Bill Ripken, and Dave Schmidt. And then we got those. Oh, I thought, huh. Dave, pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome right there. Thank you very much. And let's see. Let's see what Orioles he sent just to balance it out. We have got the Orioles team. We got Anthony Santander Rainbow. That's a nice looking card right there. Colton Kowser. We have got Grayson Rodriguez. Ryan Mountcastle, who just had nine RBIs the other night. Jordan Westberg. We have John Means. Dylan Bundy. That's a sweet looking Bundy. Andy Chavez. Adam Jones. We have the Iron Man. Earl Weaver. Hold me back, bro. Walk off high jinks. Then we got a couple of Oriole stickers. That was very awesome, Dave. I appreciate I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the cards. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, moving along. Next up we have from Metroplex, Michigan. And we have got Dick Billings. He signed three of three in 14 days. He had a career batting average of 227 with 16 home runs, 142 RBIs. He played eight years. He appeared in 400 games. He played from 68 to 75. And he played with Washington, Texas, and St. Louis. His best year was in 1972 when he hit five home runs, knocked in 58, and batted 254. That's Dick Billings. And Dick Billings is the one that sent me the best card so far, best answer to a question so far. And it says, I wrote to him, I said, if you punch yourself in the face and it hurts, are you weak or strong? And he replied, if you punch yourself in the face, you must be stupid. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, Mr. Dick Billings. If you punch yourself in the face, you must be stupid. Love it, love it. All right, 
Our final return is from Las Vegas, Nevada. And we have got Gary Nolan. He signed three of three in 14 days. He had a career record of 110 and 70 with a 3.08 ERA. He played 10 years. He appeared in 250 games. He played from 67 to 77. He played with Cincinnati and California. He only played with California his last five games of his career. He was an all-star in 1972 when he went 15 and five with a 1.99 ERA. He finished fifth in the Cy Young voting that year. Um, in 1970, he won 18 games, and he finished sixth in the Cy Young voting that year. Um, in 1975 and 76, he won a World Series as part of the Big Red Machine. And each of those years, he went 15 and nine. Um, in 75, he had a 3.16 ERA. In 76, he had a 3.46 ERA. And he is in the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. And a side note on Gary Nolan, once he retired from playing, he moved, or he, uh, he worked in Las Vegas for, for the next 25 years. And his first job in Vegas was a blackjack, was a blackjack dealer after he got done playing. Thought that was pretty interesting. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.